I'd like to start by recognizing a postal service letter carrier in my district named B. Lee. For 38 years, B has connected constituents to their essential medicines, ballots, notes from loved ones. With so many hospitals and medical offices on her route, she is proud that her work helps keep our communities healthy and safe. As we discuss ways to improve the federal workforce, I want us all to remember that federal employees are dedicated public servants and valued members of our communities. I thank my constituent B for her years of service to Orange County. Second, I want to take up a partial response to what my colleague um, Ms. Bobert was discussing. Um, VPN, she mentioned an article alleging that 25% of HHS employees did not actually telework, and I just want to flag for everyone here that VPN, um, and using VPN login as a way to measure employee engagement and productivity is notoriously inaccurate and misleading. It does not necessarily reflect an employee's access to their email, the internet, they can be working on Microsoft Word, drafting a document, they can be in Excel, inputting data, without being connected to the internet at all, much less to VPN. It also fails to reflect the work of the thousands of doctors, researchers, scientists, and other HHS employees who spend much of their time working in the field, not logged on to a computer. Um, I now like to turn to um, an area that I've worked on before, which is- Would, uh, would my colleague just real quick re-yield? Real quick? Yeah. I'm, I'm not even sure if VPN is required, Correct. by the way. Thank you. Correct. Um, I want to turn to an issue I've worked on before, which is wildland firefighter classification. Um, we know that wildfire in California get worse and worse, worse each year. We don't even talk about a season anymore. It's, a, it's an all year round risk. Um, and we owe our wildland firefighters debts of gratitude for what they do. Um, Director, would you agree that achieving um, equity across the wildland firefighter workforce is an important goal? Absolutely, Congresswoman. So we should expect that wildland firefighters who do the same work to have the same job descriptions, pay, benefits, et cetera. Would you agree? Yes, I would. Okay, so as you know, the bipartisan infrastructure law directed coordination between OPM and the Departments of Interior and Agriculture on developing a distinct job series for federal wildland firefighters. And the goal here is to accurately describe their duties and what they should be paid for the hard work that they do. Last June, OPM issued guidance for developing this job series, which includes employees in the Forest Service, Bureau of Land Management, Fish and Wildlife, Bureau of Indian Affairs, and National Park Service, five agencies. Um, is OPM facilitating interagency coordination on this classification process to make sure that it's completed properly and fairly? Thank you, Congresswoman. We are. We helped with the, like you mentioned, the, the job series, and now we're working through the classification uh, the, the occupation series and now working through the classification aspect of it. And you feel that OPM is hands, would you characterize your role here as hands on in helping the agencies come to consistent descriptions? Absolutely. We do see that as our role to ensure continuity. We also want to make sure that we see as our role to ensure there's, there's a career path and trajectory for firefighters. Wonderful, because we don't want the US, fires, U.S. Forest Service to end up short of people because BLM has a different classification. We want all of these agencies to have the ability to have trained and skilled wildland firefighters to keep us all safe. Um, can you talk a little bit about whether you have worked with federal wildland firefighters directly to get their input um, to make sure that what the agencies are doing, what those in Washington or field offices might be doing, matches what's happening on the ground, the challenges that our fire firefighters are facing. Absolutely, Congresswoman. We have a, uh, what I would hope is a good relationship uh, with the associations and unions that um, support the firefighters. I had the opportunity to meet them in person and hear firsthand about just some really challenging stories about how they're managing just their livelihood uh, with the current pay. And so we want to ensure as a part of our role, not only this occupation, but uh, to ensure that the pay is a permanent feature uh, that's now through the BIL, but will expire soon. Wonderful. I just want to encourage OPM to continue taking a leadership role so that we don't have agencies acting kind of inter independently and leave the wildland firefighters with the short end of the stick here. Um, the, I want to use my remaining time. Um, has OPM... 
We hear so much about the costs of federal employees, the costs of their wages, the costs of their benefits. Has OPM formerly studied the costs of recruiting and training for when employees leave? Can we weigh the, the cost of paying an existing, trained, qualified, excellent employee, which we hear a lot about, what does it cost us when that person leaves to get, the, get a new person and to train them to the same level? Absolutely, there are significant costs when it comes to recruitment and also retention, the knowledge that you've lost and getting that person up to speed, Congresswoman. I do know that there have been a documentation at individual agencies. I'd have to check to see if our agency has done something across government. I would really encourage that as a way of making sure we have all of the data so that we can come to the, the right conclusions as we think about workforce issues. So I would encourage you to think about how to make that more of an initiative and how to coordinate that data across agencies. I thank Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman and um, yield back. Lady yields back. Chair, Mr. Burleson from Missouri for five minutes. Thank you. First, I want to say you look very healthy for someone that was up until 3 a.m. last night. <laughs> Um, well, uh, thank you, Director, for coming. I wanted to say um, it's clear from this hearing